What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Giselle and I am a makeup artist here in Alabama. So welcome to my channel if you've never been here. Hola, bienvenidos. I have been doing this for around 10 years now, but trust me, my makeup artist kit did not look like this at the very beginning. I have worked my way up to this point and God willing, I will advance in many more ways. This is just a tour of everything that I have. My makeup artist kit consists of one big relaxed bag and a brush bag. I actually got the extra large Relabel bag. This has been a huge help in my kit just because I like that I can see all of my makeup brushes. By the way, I do have all of my makeup artist kit tours on a playlist here on my YouTube channel if you're interested. And before, if you've seen those videos, my brushes were in different containers, some face brushes in one bag and the eye brushes in a little, well, it wasn't little, it was like a big hard case. And it was just really everywhere. And when I work, I wanna be able to see everything and kind of like compartmentalize. I can't say that word, but you know what I mean, like in sections, just so that it's easier for me to like, you know, keep it as clean as possible. I'm a very visual person and as many people are as well. So when I work, I want to keep everything clean and just minimal as much as I can, because as a makeup artist, it's really hard for us to keep our kits minimal. But that's another tip I could give you guys if you're starting out in this career. Don't overspend in areas that you don't need to. Don't go to the store and buy yourself, I don't know, 10 colors, foundation when you're first starting out. I learned that the hard way just because those shades you can make with just three. That's my biggest tip is try to save where you can. I always started out with drugstore at first and then working my way up to high end. A lot of my stuff is high end, but I do have a little sprinkle here and there of drugstore. But anyways, so I'm gonna start out with this little Relabel brush bag. Well, this is the extra large, I'm pretty sure. Again, everything's gonna be linked down below. So this bag, I'm pretty sure you can find it in this clear packaging or it's in black. But I like the clear. I think it's pretty cute to see what you have in the bag bag and the way that I have this set up is I have not just only my brushes but I have some spray cans in here so of course I have my one size by Patrick I have the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush I love that spray and then this is the Caudalie like priming mist and honestly I did love it and everyone loves the smell but I am also trying I found this really affordable Korean spray and it's a beautiful facial mist it's hydrating and it's like everything that I want in a facial mist I just got back from a wedding job like a couple days ago so everything is still kind of tousled around <sighs> But basically the way that I set this up was this section has like concealer, anything that I can use like cream products with that are like tiny brushes. Over here, these are all my eye brushes. This section has smaller face brushes. And then this section has fluffier face brushes for powder. And then on this corner over here is like my foundation brushes over here. And then in this tiny little, little plastic container, I have all my eyebrow and eyeliner pencils. All of my eyeliner and brow brushes. Ugh, I'm like everywhere. These brushes are just so tiny, so I like to keep them in this little tiny container. And I do have a lot from like Michaels because I noticed that I could never find a really small and detailed brush. So for instance, I have these small ones that I love creating an inner cat liner. And I actually went ahead and like even cut some of the hair so that it's so, so thin. Cause you know how sometimes some brushes get frayed. So for instance, this one as well was super frayed. It was crazy. So I cut it as little as I could. Oh, and I also have this spray here by MAC. This is a prep and set. So I actually use this Fix Plus for wetting my sponge. I actually feel that I work better by just misting it. I feel that I have more control when the sponge isn't as like wet and as moist. I know like the whole point of the of you wetting your beauty blender is so that the foundation doesn't get like soaked up in the sponge. But from what I've seen, I feel that I have just better control. It's really weird to explain, but that's just what I've experienced. But I do miss from time to time my sponge, just a little bit, not like a lot, just because I feel that it's better that way for me. And then in the very front pocket, I have my fan. Then I have some palettes. 
These are crucial in my kits. If you've never tried these for eyeliner, I recommend them because you'll be able to work on the eyeliner and have the eyeliner product right here so that you're not going back and forth from the table. You work more efficiently and they're just perfect. Also get you a bowl so that you're always being sanitary while dumping the powder and not going back and forth from the packaging. Even though you're sanitizing the cap, I feel that it's not as clean. So you should get yourself a bowl. This is literally a soy sauce bowl from Amazon, also linked. And then on this side pocket, I've just figured this out like a couple days ago. So it worked out perfectly because it has like this zipper here and I'm able to just pull out little trash bags. And this is perfect because we also want to keep our area clean. So I have a mini trash can. And then on this side, I keep my light that I'm using right now. I'll actually take it off so you can see. I keep this light in this bag. I also keep my business cards. You need to keep those right on hand. You never know when someone wants to follow you. The next thing that I carry separately is my lip products. This works wonders for me in terms of keeping everything in one area because I used to have everything in here and I like to see all my eyeliners in one place and I keep myself controlled by not buying so many because now I'm like, okay, the limit is only keeping this amount. And if I go over the eyeliners and I can't keep them in here, that means I need to stop. I know I have space here, but I don't want to do that. I have a spare Iconic Nude and that's it because my Iconic Nude is a tiny little nub right now. I keep Charlotte Tilbury. I have some Fenty. I actually just bought this so I'm really excited because it was not budging on my hand you guys. I literally had to scrub it off with like a makeup remover. And I have Morphe. I have an old KKW eyeliner in here and it's super rare that I use it but I can't seem to part ways with it. I have some Makeup Forever. I actually am really excited to try out her waterproof formula of these. So I'm so excited to test those out as well. Of course, we have Makeup by Mario over here, some NYX and Sephora Collection. These are the only ones that I will keep in my kit that are like retractable just because I don't like those. I think it's just more sanitary to literally cut off the pencil and sharpen it. And it's just more sharper for you to have like a crisp liner. I have two red lip liners from NYX. I never really use color on my clients. It's mostly nudes, browns, you know, very neutral. And then in the deep pocket, I just have my lipsticks depotted. Another thing you should do if you're not doing this already is depotting your stuff. I know it's so heartbreaking because the packaging is so beautiful, but you have to guys, like it's just so chaotic if you have everything like in its original packaging. The glosses I will keep in its original packaging because that's a lot of work to depot, but lipsticks, you can keep it in a small little compact like this and just keep the bottoms to like label it and my favorite glosses at the moment if you haven't seen my instagram stories have been these lawless glosses i have the shades daisy pink and daisy girl so daisy girl is super pretty it's a shimmery pink and this one is a creamier pink they're not super pigmented but they're not super transparent i love them it's a really comfortable plumping gloss it's not minty or spicy if you are worried about that. I know clients are very particular. I do have some Sephora collection lip, what are these called? The like matte lip creams. They reformulated these as well. I haven't had the chance to try those. I have some Maybelline glosses, Morphe, these Fenty ones. I love this Sweet Mouth one. It's my favorite. And I also have this Huda Beauty clear gloss. It's never bad to have a clear gloss because you can make any color glossy. I have this Juicy Tube one from Tarte. I do like it. It's just that they are minty. So I have to be very careful when I put it on. And if you're wondering like what lipsticks I have in here, I have a bunch from L'Oreal and from Makeup by Mario. Another thing that I will recommend to you is getting your own chair. I am five, seven and a half. So I need a really tall chair. This one, it was a gift from my mom. So I can't link you exactly this one because it's really old. Just make sure you like know the dimensions because if you get one that's too tall and you're really short, it's just not gonna work out for you. But um, this one works wonders for me. I've seen so many makeup artists just like work in those tiny chairs like this one and they're literally on their knees or they're bending over and it's just not comfortable, you guys. We gotta keep our bodies in check. This is the only body God gave us, so we gotta take care of it. And also, 
glow, another thing that I recommend is my Glam Core light. You don't have to get this one in particular, but just any lights. Always have good lighting so that you are making sure everything looks good. Also for pictures and it just looks very professional. Imagine doing makeup in the dark. No, not, not, not good. It just is, it's a must. You cannot be a makeup artist without a light. This one was also a gift. So if you are wanting to get this, get it for Christmas or for your birthday. Every time I get a birthday present, it's always like a makeup artist thing that I've been wanting. I have a really supporting and loving family and thankfully they get me things like this that I really need um, during my birthday. This is the best birthday present I probably have ever gotten just cause it keeps on giving. I love gifts that keep on giving. I'll also have this link down below. Now for the main bag of my makeup kit is the Relavel. So this bag, is really big. It's the extra large one and it's super heavy, but trust me, I have depotted and repackaged some things. And when I first open it up, you're gonna see that I have eyelashes. I also recommend you to do this where you cut them down and just keep them all in a compact area. I have this with all my disposables. I've been loving this eyelash glue, by the way. It's not super wet, it's really fast drying. You're not there for so long trying to get that glue tacky. So I also got this one because I heard amazing things, but I haven't played with it enough for me to be like, yes, go get it, blah, blah, blah. It's just, I don't like the packaging. I hate that I have to like dump it out, put my eyelashes around it. it it's like a whole thing. I wish that the packaging was just, you know, a basic eyelash applicator like this. I keep a little sharpener in here. I actually want to get the Glossier one where you like sharpen it and you don't have to worry about all the shavings falling out. But that one has been sold out everywhere. One time I forgot these shears and you know how I cut my eyelashes, guys? I was using a razor and I was just putting it against my skin like this. And then over here I have these pointy Q-tips. These are a must, especially if you want to keep that eyeliner sharp. And I have tiny little Q-tips as well. Very crucial to keep that eye makeup looking sharp and clean. I have tiny little like dentist um, flossing thingies that you use for braces for like lower lashes. This is super great if you have girls who have barely any eyelashes. I do keep like basic ones, like shorter ones, but these are for anyone who doesn't have any eyelashes underneath. A bunch of these just in case I need to like retouch glue on my clients. I never double tip my eyelash glue. I always have to dip this in here and then apply it onto the girls just so that we're not cross contaminating. And then I have this tiny trash can that I was telling you guys about it's collapsible it's a must and I actually just found these eyelashes because of Nikki here on YouTube and Nikki LaRose is a beautiful woman but she's also a very talented makeup artist so anything she recommends I'm like oh I need to buy them so I really like these and then I also found these they're a little bit more dramatic my uh, makeup wipes up here I carry some masks just in case if I feel that I need to bring them out I carry some rhinestones the applicator to apply them I carry a Lysol and a bunch of little tiny eyelash glues up here that I only put in like quinceañeras or in the bride's touch-up kits and then over here I carry some of these clips that are for you know not decreasing the hair I have the razor just in case some eyelash curler and then I have this brow gel that is from essence and it's really good it's really heavy duty I recommend it and then I have mascara that I, okay this is another thing I don't think you need to spend so much money on the reason why you shouldn't be buying an expensive mascara is because you're not going to be using the wand so just buy something that's waterproof in the drugstore section and you're good to go some of these little utensils for you know whenever I need to scrape anything out some tweezers I have eyebrow pencils in here but I don't really use them that much I just use them if someone doesn't have that much hair so I have this one from Sephora collection and these three from L'Oreal over here I have a bunch of eyeliners so I have different colors and most of them are from Mario and then I have this essence nude one and then these are Danessa Myricks they're like holographic over here everything is like in sections so I have all of my skincare in this corner and I really don't use primers but I've been using these and this one not so much. I feel that it doesn't really do anything for me. I have a hard time working with it. It's just like you need a small pea size amount. It's just a little finicky, honestly. By the way, this one is e.l.f. and I really like it. I tried it on my cousin and it really does last. I've been actually trying this on myself and it's good so far. Oh, I did depot these things but not this one just because I feel like it's so pretty. It is quite heavy. It's the Charlotte Magic Serum and I use this on 
anyone who has like more oily skin just because it's a lighter um, moisturizing product and if someone is just normal or really dry i'll use ember lease cream i love this stuff i have this toner from charlotte tilbury it's the glowy toner it's perfect for anyone who has either sensitive or just normal skin i literally use it on everyone no matter if they're super oily to the driest skin i have two primers these are the only primers that I have for like texture or for mattifying that I do like. It's the Hourglass Vanish one and the MAC Cosmetics Mattifying. And then I have my eye cream. This one I use for women who have really dry under eyes. And this is the um, Inculus one. It has caffeine in it. I do have a little bit of this Bobbi Brown one. Like this one is really expensive. So I have to like make sure to only use it on either my brides or my quinceañeras. And I am planning on buying the full size one so I can just like depot it into this one. And I do use this a lot on my clients. I really like it. It's the e.l.f. Brow Lift. And it's perfect to get those brows looking nice and fluffy. Gosh. I was using this one from Mexico. It's really, really nice. I just feel that the packaging isn't the most convenient. It's really hard to like get your spoolie in there, but it's a brow styling soap from this brand Sunny. I don't know how to pronounce it. And then of course I have some sanitizer, I'm trying to be as clean as I can. And I do carry some Laneige lip balm in here, you guys, just because whenever I prep my clients, this is the first thing I put on them. You want to keep those lips nice and prepped. And over here, I have a little bit of alcohol. This is really crucial in your kit. And some Bioderma. In this back corner over here, I have a bunch of my highlighters. So this is the only quad that I keep. I feel that I can have a variety. And then I have this highlighter from Benefit. It's the cookie one. I have this Body Glow from Dior Glow. They don't make this anymore, unfortunately, but I do really miss it because I felt that this one didn't leave like a, a really sticky residue on the skin. I did buy this one from Rio de Janeiro, but I didn't really like how it felt on the skin. The smell is amazing, but it's just not the best on the skin. It just feels super tacky. I have these cream blushes. This one's from RCMA. I really recommend these just because they're so compact already and depotted for you. I use this so much. And I do have like one rare beauty blush in the shade hope and then over here I have a bunch of my foundations So my foundations over here. I have a variety I have makeup forever the reboot foundation and then I have the HD skin I did have to depot these just because they were so heavy you guys I don't know I think it's just a lot easier to squeeze out and whatever and it just you can carry a lot more I also carry let's see the NARS longwear radiant this is my go-to. I always recommend this. I feel that I can manipulate the finish of this. If you're super dry, I put more creme on you. I hydrate more your face. And if you're really oily, I just make sure to set your face really, really well. The coverage is also beautiful. I also carry the House Labs. I just got this in my kit this year. I really love that foundation. I carry um, one tone of the Best Skin by Sephora. I carry Armani. So Armani Luminous Silk is really, really pretty. It's just really expensive. So I'm trying to finish what I have and then if I really do miss it in my kit Then I'll probably buy it again. Most likely I will and then I also carry my powders But they're depotted in this little section and this is like the best way that I found to depot them It's just you really don't need that much powder. I've noticed like it controls how much I put into the bowl So I have cupcake by Huda. I have pound cake and I also carry a little bit of a darker tone called Kanafa. Oh and banana bread this one I really don't use much it's by Terry the colorless powder it's the one that's like hyaluronic acid infused this one is just tricky and it flies everywhere I'm not gonna lie to you but it's so expensive and it's just a shame that I don't really like it as much I really do want to buy the makeup by Mario one though that one looks really good and processing I carry this little sponge holder so that when I'm like working I just sit this um, sponge in here and it doesn't roll around as for the little cotton rounds, I keep it in this little container that goes over here. And then I just bought this this year, um, these two palettes from Hourglass. I love them for my mature clients. So if I need to set their face, but I don't want to use like a really intense powder i'll use these it's a beautiful finishing powder i bought the first one and the second one this is the first one it has a bit more brighter tones and then this one's like the medium 
I might buy the third one so I can use it as bronzer. Basically, this is how I set girls with dry skin or if I want to add like a subtle highlight on textured skin as well. It's really pretty on textured skin. For bronzers, I think you guys saw my Instagram story. If you don't follow me on there, you should. So my Charlotte Tilbury, the lightest color broke on me. It shattered and I think it's because the way that this is package is whenever the powder is like hitting pan it gets like fragile and it just gets destroyed if you like you know have it tossing in your kit so I'm really scared for this one to break on me next but yeah any more you know so this one is what I have in my kit but then I went to Sephora and I bought the lightest shade of the Fenty this bronzer is in the sun it's the first shade and I like it so far um, I've heard good things about it these are some bronzers that I like using to like really make someone really warm it's the gimme sun and the dark deepest shade from the Mac uh, mineral skin finish powders these are really pretty I also carry these three bronzers from hourglass I have all three shades luminous bronze light nude bronze light which is my favorite and then i carry this shade in radiant bronze light and then for cream i carry all the cream bronzers from nars i put them in this palette which is like a lifesaver it's honestly just so easy to blend it's very beautiful it's slightly pigmented and it's very easy to like cream contour your client's face it also smells like coconuts if you've ever smelled it it smells really good and then over here in this corner i keep anything and everything eyes so single eyeshadows i love my you know space cowboy and this cosmic color i love these i have some demessa myricks i have some eyebrow pomades here just in case and i have this matte fluid eye paint from about face that i use in case if someone wants an intense inner corner i have ingla of course you know duraline over here in this corner some single shadows from they're like smaller brands that were gifted to us during a master class i have some jeffree star liquid eyeshadows one elf one back there oh and then also this Danessa myricks matte black liner i do like it it's just not as pigmented as the inglot so you have to layer it but the inglot is super pigmented and you just have to be very careful that's just how it is with eyeliner you have to perfect it in order for you to always get the eyeliner clean and not mess up someone asked me like how do i keep my eyeliner looking sharp and like how do i not mess up and honestly just practicing and keeping my hands steady i always have my finger like on their face especially if i'm doing like a really sharp liner um, I can do a whole video on that later, but I just haven't really made time for that. I always forget. And oh, I also have these foundations here. So I depotted them a while ago, right? I depotted them, but the formula changed. I have no idea why. Maybe something in the formula it just doesn't get along well with this plastic. And I kept these two because that was the only thing I had left. So I have these just hanging out right here in this corner. You can't even see them. So sorry. So yeah, I keep them in this little corner here. Um, those are the only full size foundations I have. And then finally my concealers. I carry Too Faced. I love the sculpting concealer. It's my favorite. I feel that it's just a lot of product and also the consistency is perfect. I use it on everyone and no matter how old they are, how dry their under eyes are. And then I carry some Dior. These are honestly the same shade. I like, <laughs> I stupidly bought these online and like the shades are very similar. So um, that was just like a fault in my part, but I do like that consistency. It's more hydrating. I also carry some of these one size concealers again i feel that i didn't go with the right shades i bought these online so i should have returned them but i just didn't and then i carry three shades of the hourglass concealer this one is expensive but i do have a pro discount with them online so it's not as expensive but it, they're so expensive i bought sepia birch and silk so just three different undertones one's more pinky one's more yellow and one's more white and just like rosy i have these three powders i only keep these three powders because I don't really use powder compacts that much in my kit. Um, I will use this to set their eyelids. When I'm priming for eyeshadow, I use concealer and then I set them with this powder. And at the very end, if someone's super oily and after I set their face with setting spray and powder, of course, their face might seem a little shiny from that setting spray. So I let the setting spray dry down and then I put a little bit extra powder in their T-zone just to make sure everything is nicely set and no oil has any chances of coming out. I also 
have color correctors. So I have this one from um, Black Radiance. It's like a darker orange. And then I have this Charlotte Tilbury peach corrector. I always forget I have it. I'm not going to lie, but um, it is good. I just always forget I have it. And when I'm in a rush, I don't think, oh, grab the corrector, you know. But I should probably practice that a little bit more and try to use it because it's expensive and I don't want it to get old. Also, I carry these three palettes in my kit because I use them all the time. So these are the only blushes I keep in my kit. They're from the Jaclyn Hill cosmetic line. They don't make them unfortunately anymore. So I think after I'm done with this, I'm gonna probably buy, I don't know, I haven't really done much research, but I'm really looking at the House Labs ones. Those are very pretty. This one I love the most. It's like the cool tone version. It's the Rouge Affair. This warmer one I do use. It's just like, I forget. I, I don't really like too much orange on my clients unless they're like warmer. This this is the Rouge Romance, but my favorite shades in here have to be like these three right here. I've been dabbing into this one a little bit more and it's really pretty. I just haven't really tried it on many clients. And last but not least in here, I also have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Powder Palette. This is a lifesaver. So when I run out of these, I just like take it out with my thumb and then pop them out and buy the new powder version of it. It's really easy to keep up with. The packaging doesn't look the cutest anymore because I've had this for so long. Um, also, if you're wondering, where do you keep your eyeshadow palettes? So this is where I keep my eyeshadow palettes in this black rolling bag. I've seen the Hulkin and I might buy that later, but for now this works for me. So I keep extras in here because when I have a wedding and someone randomly wants their makeup done and they didn't tell me that they wanted their makeup done, I keep sponges and puffs and touch of kits in here in case. I usually take the same ones all the time. So I use like my Ethereal, Patrick, Ta, whatever. So I just drop them in here, right? I drop those in here and that's where I keep those. And then I also put these bags in here. If you're wondering like, what do I use these for? I put their touch-up kits in here and then I carry the dirty brushes back in here and I just toss them in here as I go. I like to see how many clients I have visually. So if I have like six clients and I have three bags left, it kind of gives me hope. I'm like, okay, I only need to do three more clients. Cause sometimes I forget what time it is. I forget how many girls I've done and this just keeps me on track. Also carry on the side pockets over here, I carry water because sometimes I forget my Stanley and honestly my Stanley just leaks everywhere. So a water bottle in case for me, I have this tripod. I love this tripod. I carry one for my kit and I have one in my house because I use that all the time. And then I have an extension cord. You should always have an extension cord. You never know. Over here, I have a first aid kit. It's kind of ghetto, not gonna lie. It's like ripped apart, but you just never know when you need a Band-Aid. Over here, I have a plastic bag just in case. And then I have a Zothis soap in here because I've had times where I travel and then I need to wash my brushes. So I have a Zothis on the go. More trash bags and yeah that's basically it for this bag what else oh and last but not least one thing that you should always keep in your car at least is a table a foldable table in case you go to a venue and let's say they don't have any space for you to place your kit you need to bring one this is from walmart and i bought it in black because if i get makeup on it it's not noticeable of course i do clean it and i sanitize it and stuff but it just gets beaten up you know i throw it in my car and it's just inevitable but this is a lifesaver i've taken it down with me several times and it's always gonna be in my car in case all right guys, well, I hope y'all enjoyed my makeup artist kit tour. If you have any questions, if I didn't show something in particular, like in depth and you want me to answer, I will just comment down below. Um, again, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.